Check out Jericho and his stylish Space Invaders dog sweater. What a classy boy. Well, hello there, real gamers. RetroRob here, and welcome to RetroRob Plays Everything. Today, I've got a monitor, a portable monitor, sent to me by Mitver. Right here, it's in this box. And, uh... It's uh, an interesting thing. It's marketed both for mobile gaming and as like a spare monitor for when you're on the road. So it'd be something good for LAN parties or if you're at a convention or something or if you're traveling and you want to prove what a big nerd you are and play games on the road. Uh, they're fairly, I, I actually use a mobile monitor already and I find it super useful. Uh, you can plug it into your uh you can plug it into your laptop in many cases, and it's just one wire, and it, you know, boom, it's right there. You've got a second monitor, uh, so it's really handy to have because I do a little bit of running and gunning on the go with guys, games, and beer. And uh, it's also useful if you've got, like, some of these small gaming devices and you just want to play on a little bit bigger screen. So, pretty useful. Anyway, let's go take a look at the specs real quick. So, specs. The screen size is 15.6 inches. It's a 1080p FHD IPS screen, the Mixver portable laptop monitor, designed with 1920. You can use this, by the way, on a desktop. It doesn't matter. Designed with 1920 by 1080 resolution, advanced IPS glossy screen support, 178 degree full viewing angle. It renders accurate and bright color, draws you into the game or <laughs> into the video or game. Sorry. I ran them together with lifelike colors and amazing detail. Plug and play and wide compatibility. There's no need of app and drivers. You only need a USB-C cable to set the portable monitor for its video signal. That was way too much. That, that was way too much to say. Uh, basically, you just plug it into a USB-C cable on many laptops. It's just going to work. Um, note that there are some cases where... Uh, where that might not work, and then you can use the USB-C for power and then HDMI out uh, if your USB-C doesn't support it. However, uh, pretty much any Mac from the last couple years will support that, and very, very many PCs will support that, uh, plus your phone and your iPad will support that just, just one USB-C cable connection, which is pretty cool. Anyway, which I think they mentioned I I pulled ahead, I pulled ahead. Anyway, with full feature USB-C port and HDMI port, you can easily connect with laptops, PC, Mac, phone, Xbox, Switch, PS4, 5, etc. So yeah, you can use this with pretty much anything. Uh, second monitor, it says, that's a point. The Mictor portable vi monitor, monitor <laughs> can very well act as your second monitor and improve your work efficiency. You can also use it as a primary if you want. You can work and perform multitask simultaneously. Wow, what is with me? While using this monitor as a lot. Yeah, you can use it as a second monitor. And you can use it, you know, either mirrored or as an extension. Magnetic smart cover and stand. It can work in both landscape and portrait mode. Can be used as a gaming monitor, screen extender for laptop or cell phone. Comes with a scratch-proof smart cover made of durable PU leather exterior. <laughs> PU, that's plastic. Uh, doubles as a stand, provides comprehensive protection for this portable computer monitor. And I will say that uh, this, uh, I, I like this design. Uh, I've got one that, ha I already have a monitor that has this type of design. And I'm really happy with it. I think it's it's a good mix between portability and durability, so not bad. Anyway, lightweight and portable travel monitor. Keeping in mind the portability of the monitor, a lightweight and easy carry screen, which weighs 1.84 pounds or 1.81 pounds. Sorry, you can probably see it better than me. And, of course, I've got this over there. <laughs> Sorry. Part of my display, uh, I, I'm actually recording this through the OBS window. and It has a bunch of guidelines going through it. Anyway, got rid of those now. Sorry. And it's 0.4 inch slim, so that's less than a half inch slim. 
Uh, your work gets done efficiently while you're on a trip. And yeah, this is really good for trips, uh, conventions, and of course, LAN parties. Now, if I was a really good YouTuber, I would have remembered to <laughs> introduce the next segment by saying something, something, something. And then we start as we always do with the front of the box. Portable monitor. Hey, guess what? Let me tell you what. I guarantee that there is no misleading information on this box cover. For once. Ha! The back of the box is white. As a Wisconsin winter. I'm betting there's part of the audience that wishes I would just get to unboxing it. And this is for you. All right, let's see what's inside. First thing, we've got a fairly sizable manual for this. Mm. Get out of here. <laughs> There's, oh, how to install the case stand. Nice. All right. So you've actually got, well, it even covers the menu settings. That's a real manual in color, a rare event on inexpensive monitors. Which, uh, by the way, I'm not mentioning the price on purpose because uh, they have a lot of price fluctuations and uh, they weren't sure whether they'd have a sale on uh, when this was released or not. So they wanted to uh, make sure that I didn't quote any specific prices. All right, that is the screen itself. We'll get back to that in a minute. We have got one USB-C to USB-C connector. Does it go to this guy? No, this one goes with it. USB-C to USB-A connector, and that goes to this AC adapter. Probably want something a little bit longer, I would guess, eventually. And a micro HDMI to HDMI as well. I've got a bunch of these laying around. Uh, this one's about a three-footer. So uh, the quality on them feels pretty good, actually. Uh, it's not made out of uh, tin foil, so that's good. Plastic. Yeah, let's get one out. Let's see what we have to say about the plastics. And they feel thick through the bag, but you never know. No, they feel all right. Yeah, absolutely acceptable. All right, let's go over to the screen. All right, I'm going to take this off right now. And what we have is uh, this cover here that folds in and the monitor just lies inside it. And it's held magnetically to the back of the monitor. So this has got like a magnetic strip on it. And it goes on here. Let me, uh, there we go. There we go. Anyway, um, yeah, it just goes flat onto the monitor. And then there's these little grooves right here. And you can prop it up. How you want and this is uh basically identical uh in function to the one i use for the guys games and beer show so uh hopefully it'll be as nice here let's back this up but uh it feels pretty good the um the construction's solid it doesn't feel all bendy or really uh it doesn't feel like it's made out of cheap plastics on the side hold on a second let's zoom in We've got a headphone jack. Uh, we've got this menu and it flips up, down, and then you can press it in. And then you got a power button right here. And going around to the other side here, let's get that into frame. We've got the HDMI out, or sorry, in. What's wrong with me? Uh, USB C right there. And then we've got uh, a DC in, which is USB C as well. So you can actually power it off of this USB-C. Sorry. Uh, this guy here. And this guy. And uh, it's pretty generic. So you don't have to uh, worry about... Um, you don't have to worry about this cable. Like if something ever happened to it, you can just get a USB-C to USB-A uh, and a standard AC adapter and go to town with it. I've got this hooked up to my gaming laptop 
and I'm using USB-C for power. And then I've got HDMI hooked up for the video. You can't just hook up USB-C and just go through there, but you can do it this way. You can get power and then do uh, HDMI. So that works just fine, and it's just pulling power off of here, so I don't need an extra AC adapter. It seems to be working just fine. Right now I'm duplicating video, so I wanna actually use this screen over here as my secondary. So real quick, I'm gonna show you how to do that. Uh, search for display, and then you can go into display settings, and then instead of duplicate, extend. And then keep changes, and then identify, you don't need to identify uh, the other ones too. So I'm gonna move it to the other side like, ugh, like that. And that way, oh, don't forget to apply. Oops. And that way, my mouse glides smoothly from this screen over to this screen. And this is really great for if I'm on a trip or if I'm just using this out in the living room like I am right now and I want a second screen right away to do some recording, now I can throw OBS up on here and I can play on this screen. Pretty cool. I mean, it's, you know, nothing revolutionary, but uh, it is super useful, even like on business trips. Uh, I can hook up my work monitor or my work uh, computer up to this as well and use it as a second screen. And having a second screen is night and day. If, uh, if you're watching this and you don't have a second screen, you should definitely get one. Just saying. I mean, I, I can't imagine not having one in most cases. In fact, I got three of them at work. Just a quick note that while my gaming PC did not support video through USB-C, my work one does, no problem, see? Just one video cable right there. So if you're on the PC side of the world, uh, make sure to check with your manufacturer first. They might support this. I mean, otherwise you can just do it the way I did it with my gaming PC as well. I'm gonna show you this real quick because I've got it hooked up to my Mac. And um, as you can see, one USB-C cable to do that. So if I want to use it as a second monitor for my Mac, all I need is a USB-C cable. And uh, let's see if there's my OBS screen. That over. There we go. Everybody on the internet's gonna show you this thing hooked up to the Nintendo Switch, or say hooked up to their Xbox. Will they show you it hooked up to an Atari 2600 Plus? No, I don't think so. No. That's the difference. The big retro rob difference. Oh my. But seriously, I think the color looks really good on it. By the way, the sound is coming through the speakers. It's, um, you know, it's got very um, weak bass, but the audio is clear. It doesn't sound very muffled at all. It sounds pretty nice. And the controls, they default to volume. So if I want to turn it up, I can just do this. See? And then I can pull it down to turn it down a little bit. And it doesn't seem to distort even at high, um, high range. So that's not too bad. All right, get that volume out of there. There we go. All right, it timed out. But anyway, looks good. Do you want to be a real gamer? Do you want to see every episode of Retro Rob Plays Everything just as it comes out? How much would you pay to have that ability? $100? $1,000? $1,000,000 freaking dollars? Well, guess what? If you hit subscribe right now and ring that bell, you can get every episode of Retro Rob Plays Everything as they come out for free. And you'll be a real gamer. Whatever that means. Real quick, I wanted to show you the menu system. So if I press down on this little controller here, which I showed you earlier, it's right here. You see that little green light? If I uh, press downward on this, not in, but down, I can control the brightness. So the, the next up and down uh, will control the brightness. Now I gotta wait a second, unfortunately, to get out of there. I mean, Actually, I can press in to get out of there. But uh, if I press up again, I can control the volume and turn it up and down. Thusly. Now I'm going to press in again and get out. 
and I'm gonna press just in. Oops, sorry. That uh, brought me into the menu where I can adjust brightness, contrast, black level. This is very interesting here. I can adjust the aspect ratio, which is often skipped on monitors these days, but I can go from wide to four by three, and it absolutely does work. Uh, it's just that you gotta wait a while, sorry. You gotta wait a while for it to time out. I don't wanna have to do that during the video. Uh, color adjustments, you can adjust the position and the transparency of the menu if you would like. You can do a reset and then adjust signal source. Uh, you can turn on free sync. I don't think it's gonna matter because it goes up to 60. So I don't know how that would work for you, but it does have free sync on it. Uh, and most of the time it just automatically picks up the signal source. So you're like, if you plug in USB-C and it's the only thing you have plugged in, it'll just use that as a source automatically. So you don't have to go uh, through this menu every time, but nice to have it. I was editing the video and I realized I hadn't really done a uh, check of what its viewing angle is. And of course the viewing angle on it is pretty darn good. I'm pretty sure that definitely meets the expectations of their advertising. Yep, definitely. By the way, there's my little Ubuntu box. Isn't it adorable? I think so. In case you're wondering, uh, you can definitely use this with your iPad or a USB-C based phone. Uh, obviously the phone is the more um, sane way of using this. But uh, what's really funny about it is, look at this. I'm actually doing this off my battery. So I'm powering both of these screens off of this battery right here. It's freaking insane. But really cool, right? I mean, it's nice to have the ability. I noticed on the iPad it's a little bit faded looking, uh, which this is the only device I've noticed that on. Um, wish I had a phone to test it with, but my iPhone is pretty old and does not support this. Too bad. Ooh, let's play some blooms. Anytime now. Anytime. There you go. Wait. Nope. Oh, it's going to download stuff, isn't it? No. Yes! We get to see balloons! Joy. Obviously, it's not a touch screen. So, don't touch it! Quit touching it! Alright, so uh, I've got this hooked up to my Lenovo Legion Go. And uh, it's only hooked up through USB-C. So, I've got my power coming up through the bottom here. And then I've got USB-C hooked directly to this monitor. Which is crazy. Just crazy. And just wanted to see how it looks. God, this car is wild. Wild to control. They're rough on the Corvette, or else I'm just not skilled enough. I'm fairly, fairly new to this game. But, uh,. As you can see, it does quite a lovely job. Now, of course, uh, this is a 60 hertz monitor. So um, the screen on the bottom is 120 hertz and the top, it well, probably scaled back to 60, but uh, this screen tops out at 60 hertz. So it's running at 60 hertz right now, which a lot of time with the Legion Go, I know people tune it down to that anyway but yeah look at that I'm gonna pause a second here and we're just gonna turn the brightness oop not the not the volume by the way the audio is coming through the monitor which is <laughs> in this case better than what the Legion Go does Legion Go's um <laughs> the Legion Go's uh sound isn't amazing it's not as bad as i think most people would lead you to believe but um i would say that um that it's not amazing that's all i'd say all right come on out 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 let it go i know why the menu does that it gives you time to read it so fine <laughs> but uh, it could be a little bit faster to get out but still 
looks looks really nice on this screen. I also like the fact that it is a matte screen. Because glossy screens kind of drive me crazy, which, uh, by the way, the game system below here does have. All right. Let's try one last system. All right. So here's some Torchlight 2 on the Switch. And it looks pretty darn good. You know, one of the problems with doing these videos is I, I record off the screen, but the limits of the recording equipment and whatever you're watching it on and also you know like youtube encoding really you, you can't get an adequate idea of what a screen really looks like uh this one's pretty good though uh the darks i again on the recording it doesn't look like it but this is really pretty black here and that's that's a good thing because it means it's got some dark darks uh, here too you can see it as well uh it's not particularly light again you know, hard to capture that uh, when you're just recording off a screen because of all the limitations of doing that kind of thing. But it does look really, really good. Uh, I like the fact that it's it's a flat, uh, a matte screen. That's really nice. Um, the other thing I like, and, you know, I'm going to say, I, I, I alluded to it earlier, but this is almost identical uh, to the QQH I've had for a couple years now. Um but one thing I do like better about this one is it doesn't have a big old label on the bezel. Uh, I've always found that kind of distracting on it. And I thought about just, you know, like erasing it somehow, uh, like getting that paint off. But on this one, you wouldn't have to do that because it's already got a nice black bezel that doesn't interfere with your gaming. And that makes me pretty darn happy. So yay to them. Uh, again, sound is pretty pretty good on here it's again not amazing you're not going to mistake it for like you know high-end <laughs> high-end audio equipment but it's not bad i mean it's clear enough and it's loud enough that you can play a game comfortably and enjoy it uh probably be loud enough for a lamp party if you crank it all the way up and since it doesn't have a lot of distortion on the high end that'll probably be okay you know again you're not going to be uh using this to uh show 150 people your gaming prowess uh but you could use it like in a in a meeting or something to show them your gaming no <laughs> to show them like a presentation or something it would work really well for that and of course it's fine for a little bit of gaming on the go as well i mean if you think about it um uh, you can plug in a battery powered game system uh, that supports usb video out plug that into a power source and like with one set of wires basically running from USB-C over to this or over to the device and then into your power supply, uh, you could take this thing camping and prove what a nerd you are. Good stuff. I'm sorry, what a real gamer you are. Yeah, real gamer. Final thoughts on the Mikver portable monitor. All right, so first note, I did get this free for review. Uh, that said, I don't get anything past that. In other words, I don't make money off of sales. There is a link to it down below, but I don't make sales off of it. Uh, so anything I say is really what I think. Uh, I have a very similar monitor to this that I absolutely love. I absolutely love this one. In fact, I'd probably rather be using this, as I said earlier, because it has nothing on the bezel. Uh, the color is really good. Uh, I don't know if it comes through on this video or not, but the blacks are really pretty dark. Uh, it's a bright monitor. It just looks really good when it's playing. I really do like it quite a bit. Uh, I love the flexibility of these things uh, that I could plug it into external power and then use it or just plug it directly into some devices. Again, uh, if you got a PC, check to make sure that you've got video out on your USB-C port, but many of them have it. Uh, so that's, you know, that's probably going to be there for you, even though on my gaming PC it wasn't, but I, I could still use it. I could use it through HDMI. Don't go to sleep. Don't go to sleep while I'm talking. Anyway, anyway, I did like the video. Uh, yeah, it would be nice if it was 120 hertz, but to be honest, at this size and for its usage as a general all-purpose monitor, it doesn't need it. Um, Sound-wise, pretty good, honestly. It, it doesn't have bass. <laughs> you know, I mean, it's really, really light on the bass, but uh, it is very clear, at least, uh, even if you turn it up really pretty high 
Uh, the menus are not ridiculous to go through. That is a problem uh, with small uh, monitors a lot that they've got these bizarre menus. This one, as I showed you, is really easy to go through. Um, anything else to say? Love the portability. I like this form factor. Uh, this is the form factor that I actually choose, which is the kind where uh, you can actually just take the monitor and fold it up. Um, one other thing I do wish these had, though, I do wish they had, um, like, mounts on the back so I could mount it on an arm. But, I mean, you know, who's going to use that other than me? You, maybe? No? No? So if you ever get one with a mount arm, send it out to me. But, uh, anyway, yeah, I like it. It's pretty darn good. Uh, generally speaking, uh, this is in the... They didn't want me to mention a price because <laughs> they might put it on sale. But uh, I will say that... Uh, the one that I bought uh, was consistently more expensive than this one by about 20 bucks. Uh, and that this is in the sub $100 range. And I think that's absolutely fine. So congratulations. Thumbs up. You'll probably see me at a uh, LAN convention or something like that with this. A LAN convention. A LAN party or a convention uh, with this thing. So you can maybe check it out in person at MGC if you want. All right, I'm done. See you guys. Have a good one. Link is down below.